Hello lovelies! If you've been watching over the last few weeks, you probably already know that we are welcoming the summer season here on the channel with lots of delicious frozen treats. We've made tons of great ice cream flavors, and today we are doing something a little different. We are actually going to be making five amazing sorbets. These are all fruit-based sorbets, and they are incredibly easy to make, and super, super tasty. Like, honestly, even I was surprised by how delicious they are. So for each of these delicious sorbets, we are going to be using a sugar syrup. Now, this is really, really simple to put together in a small saucepan on the stove. Now, you always have the option to skip this step if you don't wanna add any additional sugar to your sorbet, but this not only adds some much needed sweetness, it also really helps with the texture of the sorbet. So I definitely recommend it if you're gonna go ahead with these recipes. This all starts with our saucepan over medium heat. We're basically just going to dump our sugar into our saucepan and then pour over our water. I'm just going to heat this through, stirring constantly until that sugar dissolves completely. And then once all that sugar is dissolved, you can simply transfer this to a heat safe dish and allow it to cool completely before adding it to any of my sorbets. For my first sorbet, I am making a classic very berry sorbet. And for this recipe, we are using all sorts of gorgeous berries. Now, of course, you always have the option to freeze your berries yourself, especially if you can find them beautifully in season this time of year. But I'm cheating today with some store-bought frozen berries. I have an amazing combination here of strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, and even some cherries for good measure. I'm gonna get them all into my food processor. You can also do this in a very high-powered blender, but if you don't have a high-powered blender, I would definitely recommend using a food processor instead. I find it makes this job way easier. To that, I am also going to add a splash of my sugar syrup. Of course, you get to control how sweet you want your sorbet to be, so you can add a little more or a little less depending on your preference. I'm going to pop the lid on my food processor and let it work its magic. Guys, look how beautiful this is. Super smooth, super frosty, way delicious. It's got the perfect consistency, so you can either eat it immediately or pop it back into the freezer for a few hours and let it firm up a little bit. Either way, it is super delicious, and I think you guys are going to love it. This is one dessert that is basically impossible to resist. If you like pina colada, you have come to the right place because our next sorbet is a pina colada sorbet. Nothing reminds me of vacation quite like the flavor of a pina colada. So this is a combination of frozen pineapple, a good splash of coconut milk. We're also adding our sugar syrup, of course, and then I'm going to finish it off with the zest and juice of one lime. On goes our lid. This is gonna be great, guys. I don't know how else to say it. You need to run, not walk to your kitchen and try this stuff. It's unreal. Don't believe me? You should ask the rest of our team. We devoured it before the shoot was over. True story. Next, for something slightly unexpected, but wildly refreshing, we are making a cucumber melon sorbet. Now, today I am using some frozen honeydew in this recipe, but you could also just as easily do this with frozen watermelon. Both would be incredibly delicious and super refreshing. To that, I am also adding some frozen cucumber. I just slice them up, pop them into the freezer, and as you can see, we're going to combine these in the food processor with a splash of our sugar syrup. Another great option here would be to add some fresh mint or fresh basil, but I'm keeping things simple with this sorbet. Blend this all up, and what you basically have is a sorbet that tastes like a day at the spa. Super relaxing. Next, for another classic flavor pairing, I am mixing up some frozen mango with some frozen raspberry. Such a delightful mixture. I love this combination because the mango is nice and sweet and tropical tasting. And of course, the raspberries are sweet but also slightly tart and sour. So they're a really beautiful combination. Once they're mixed together, we will also add a little bit of our sugar syrup and get this blended away. 
the color of this alone makes it worth the effort. Don't you agree? Isn't that one of the prettiest things you've ever seen? Finally, guys, we are making a sorbet that I think really celebrates the best flavors of summer. It is a peach basil sorbet, and of course it starts with some frozen peaches in my food processor. Next, I'm going to add my fresh basil leaves. Come summer, I just wanna put basil in everything. It belongs in everything, and it smells so good and so fresh, and it's so beautifully complemented with peach. And then I'm going to add my sorbet syrup to this, and then I'm going to get this all blended. The combination of peach and basil, as you guys probably already know from a bunch of my other recipes on the channel, is one of my all-time favorites. Trust me, you will not regret this one. It's so refreshing, so delicious, perfect, served at like a pool party on a sunny summer day. I hope you will give all five of these sunny sorbets a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Snapchat me a photo, because of course you know I love seeing your kitchen creations. The full recipes are in the description box below, so you can take a look for them there. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe, because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.